Well, if you guys are new to bow hunting, said a few times in the stand or you've never got to kill that big buck yet, you sit there, you wonder, why am I doing this? You know, I could be doing, I could be working, making money, doing so many other things. I'm sitting up here in a stand, not seeing any deer. All I can tell you guys, when it all comes together and you draw back, you got a big mature deer like this come in and you get that shot off, you put a good shot on them and everything comes together. You'll know exactly why us bow hunters do what we do because there's no words that can describe the feeling you get. It makes me feel like a little kid again. It's something I think about almost every day. I can't imagine my life without it. So it's never too late to pick up a bow, guys. So the two bucks I was hoping would show up from the year prior have not, unfortunately. So the biggest deer I got on camera that I know about is about a 130 inch 10 point. That deer ends up being the deer I harvest at the end of the video here. So uh, where I hunt here in southern Wisconsin, it's not a trophy whitetail area by any means. Uh, a lot of houses around, tons of hunting pressure, especially come gun season. Uh, most people in my area won't hesitate to shoot a nice two and a half year old buck. So to get these deer over four and a half years of age is pretty rare by me. So um, I usually sight my, put my sights on, um, like I said, on average around 130 to 170 is about the biggest deer I've seen uh, in my area. So um, pretty excited to chase this nice 10 point. So when you only have 10 acres of actual hunting land to work with, you have to do everything you can to give you the edge of your surrounding properties. So I do a lot of food plots, soybeans being my favorite, as you can see here. Mock scrapes, make trails, funnel the deer, screening, all things you've seen on my channel to give you a better shot at harvesting the biggest buck in your area.
much as I want to sit in that stand, I can't sit back there. I'll pull all the deer out of there getting down. It's not worth it. I'd rather play it safe on the fringe. Keep the deer field safe. And I'll get my shot. I likely won't see many deer. I could probably sit in the back of the field and see six or eight deer tonight, but it's not worth blowing out the food plot. You can have the best food plots in the world, but if you don't hunt them right, they're not going to do you any good. Most deer have to feel safe. You might be able to them once, maybe twice, but they're not going to feel safe. They're going to go up their old. There's ag fields and food plots all around here, lots of hockey pressure.
we got some really good days coming up here. There's a wind advisory. Some big branches coming down around me here. You gotta watch it. I saw one out cruising already, you just never know. You, you get a dough and heat, you could get a moving. All right, oh, we got them. There's one thing I learned this year, it's never to give up. I am super happy with this deer. It's November 23rd, we got some snow on the ground. Um, it was a heck of a season, I saw a lot of deer. But I kept my head up and kept going because this guy come along and I ended up getting them. So, uh, thanks again, honey, for let me get out as much as I did. I put a lot of time in this year and uh, ended up paying off for me, so I could do it without you. Appreciate it. You got it. All right. We're coming up on deer season. I'm getting super pumped. I'm sure you guys are getting super pumped. So I'm hoping this video will help you guys take down the biggest buck in your neighborhood. Like I said, all these little things you can do will stack the odds in your favor, up your percentages. Nothing's a guarantee in life, especially come bow hunting. But the more work you do, hunt smart, your odds of taking down your dream buck go way up. Check out the channel for more in depth on how to kill the biggest buck in your neighborhood. <laughs>